Hey, Jer. Good morning. How are you? I'm great, Alex. How are you? Good, good. Uh, Treb Market Watch came out. The June statistics are very, very interesting. What did you make of them? I think it's an interesting time. I think uh, there are lots of opportunities out there for buyers. There are a lot of listings selling, uh, over 6,000 sales this month. And I think the anticipation was it's going to be a little bit lower than that. Prices are within a percent of last month. And uh, I think only down about a percent from last year. Different segments are really experiencing different markets. The condo market, for example. Any comments about the condo market? Right. With about six months of inventory, just under six months of inventory in condos, uh, prices are keeping up. In the 416, they're down less than a percent. In the 905, they're down a little bit more than that. And what we've noticed is that if you're overpriced by two or three percent, you're you're kind of dead and you might not even have showings. But those listings that are out and that are priced in line with the comparables are getting a significant number of showings. And if it's priced pretty well, uh, it's going to sell. You know, Jeremy, another vital uh, factor in how we judge the market is by the number of showings our properties and our realtors get. And for the month of June, our appointment center 24 seven, because we're open 24 hours, seven days a week, booked an average of 620 appointments a day, which was very, very similar to what we did in March and April when the market theoretically was stronger. Right. So I'm saying that we still have a pretty active market out there. Yeah, there are lots of buyers looking, and I think that should turn into sales uh, at good numbers for July and even higher numbers maybe later into the fall. No question. That's for the Toronto Real Estate Board. For us, we're seeing a great market. Our realtors are having a lot of success in this market. And so there are opportunities in this market. There are opportunities for condominiums, which, as you pointed out, there are some great opportunities in the high end. In these moments that are a little bit tougher, you need to do the extra work and you need to have an agent by your side who's going to help you. And that's why we've got great agents, Remax Realtron, Remax Royal Properties, who are there for our clients to make sure they're navigating through the challenges that come with selling in higher inventory and in the challenges in buying in times where there are deals out there. So I'm predicting uh, 7,000 listings sold in July. What's your thought? I was going to say it's a little bit lower than that 6,500, but we'll see what comes out. Let's see who's right. See you next (laughs) month. Sounds good. Thanks, Alex.